Hey, look, it's the Palette 3 Pro printing on the Prusa in eight colors. I showed you this eight color print that I did. A lot of people liked it. I'm gonna release the files, but it's a simple CAD design. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get into it. There you are, welcome back. The design was extremely simple. And it's one of those things where when you go through the CAD process, the second time and the third time, there are little iterations made and it just makes it way more simple. And I think that's where I'm at. And so let's go to the tutorial desk. Let's fire up Fusion 360 and let's see if I can show you how to make this yourself. Okay, we're here at the tutorial desk. And uh, again, Fusion 360 is what I chose. I would love to see this done in other CAD softwares and I'll have a challenge for you later. But for now, let's get into it. Here it is, right? Let's see, where am I, right? Right, <laughs> right there. There it is right there. This is what I showed off in the Palette 3 uh, launch episode. And uh, it looks great. It looks great, doesn't it? It looks great. So let's see if we can remake this and I can show you how to do it. So first, you're gonna want a new design. Create a sketch up here and pick that plane, easy enough. We're gonna start with circles because those are the easiest to make the, the curved part of the rainbow. So hit C for center circle, go over here, click and drag it out and we're gonna go 200 millimeters. So again, I'm making this because I want it to fit on the Prusa i3 Mark III build plate and 200 millimeters in diameter of a circle is going to give it 100 millimeters on the radius. See, just, just right up there. That's what we want. I know there are ways to, to do uh, other sort of curves, <laughs> but this is the way I did it. And it was, a, I thought it was easiest for me. So now we need to create those, those sections that are going to have the color. So hit C again, drag it out from center. And instead of 200, do 180, just like that. So we're going to create that little section. That's going to be the red. So hit C again, bring it out and then do 160. We're just going to decrement by 20 millimeters each time. And we're going to have to create red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple six sections. Listen, I know it's Roy G. Biff, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, right? But I took indigo and I took violet and I went and I squished them together and made purple. Works for me. Cool. We have our circles. We have our kind of curves that we need. Now hit L for line, just like that. And hit X. See how that little blue thing lit up? It becomes a construction line. And we talked about that in the previous tutorial, but what that allows us to do is action against that line in sketches, but it, uh, but Fusion doesn't pay attention to it when we're doing extrusions. Because the next part, this is kind of fun, hit T for trim, and then hold your mouse button down, wiggle it, and it turns to a square. And that becomes a bulldozer. And just like that. <laughs> so see that, that construction line, even though it's not a part of the rainbow, because it reacts with the sketch environment here, that's what we needed it for. Okay, go ahead and hit escape. So there we go, we're almost there. Now we need to create some clouds. For that, well, actually, uncheck that right there because you don't want it to be a construction anymore. Hit C for center circle. Go over here just to this corner and kind of bring it out. Bring it out just a little bit and then click. And so this is, is, as, this is the artistry part. So we don't need to measure. We're just trying to figure out the lobes of the cloud. So if I bring out another center circle here and I bring one out here and maybe a tiny one, right? Right, right there. Just like that, you can kind of imagine that as a cloud, it's going to um, the you know those outer kind of areas. Those are going to work out well. Also, remember you're dealing in in my case with a Prusa build plate, and so just make sure you're within the bounds. So then go over here, do the same thing with C as a center circle. I'm going to start small. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to put one up here, and then I'm going to go right like that, and then I'll put it right right here. There we go. We got some big clouds. We got some small clouds. Um, you know, you can you can change these if you if you ever wanted to, or you could you could do new ones. I don't know. And so it's that's the cool part. This is the artistry of CAD, and this is what you get to do. Okay. So now we need to take away the sketch lines that are within the circumference of the cloud shape. So hit T for trim, and zoom in a bit. So hold it down. Again, we're going to do the bulldozer. And so that's going to go away. Do, 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 do. So that's your first pass. 
it looks okay, but there's gonna be places where you get stuff like this. So zoom in, get your bulldozer, and just kind of go like that. So you want one contiguous outer line. Bulldozer, good. I know it's not really a bulldozer, but I like it. Okay, so one thing to remember, see these lines right here? These aren't actual sketch lines. These are a part of the constraints for the size of the circles we drew earlier, so you don't have to worry about those. And there it is, boom, right there. And actually we, <laughs> which is fine. Oh, look at, there's one. Ooh. Okay. I think we got them all. So now let's do it to the other side. Get out your bulldozer and just start going to town. Again, we're just getting rid of all of the geometry within the inner circumference of the cloud shape we're trying to make. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. Look at that. We're starting to get there. We're starting to get there. Now what we need to do is create the outer parts. So if you look over here, we have our inner colors, we have our clouds, but then we have these borders. And I'm going to show you right here. The rainbow colors, I extruded five millimeters in height. The clouds and the borders around the clouds, I extruded six millimeters just to make them stand out just a little bit. So that's what we need to do over here. So what I'm going to do, so I'm sure there's a better way to do this. I thought about this. If I hit O for offset, I could click that line and I could bring it out two millimeters. So actually I can just type two right there and I can hit okay. And then see, it's not connected there. So if I go up to modify, nope, I'm sorry. Is it? Yes. Modify and extend. I can click right here and it will extend it right to that part. In fact, if I go over here, I can click and it extends it right there and it connects it. So what we need to do is have everything in fusion shaded in blue because it means there's no, it's manifold. It's not, um, uh, it's not open. So then if I hit over offset, I can click this one and I can bring it out this way and it'll be minus two millimeters. That's going to create our border around it. So it goes through here. So now we can hit T for trim, get our bulldozer and just kind of take that, that little part off right there. And if we go to the other side, boy, I'm zoomed in, aren't I? There we go. If we go to the other side, I can click that line segment and it just goes away as well. So we have our borders here. Now we need to do the borders on the clouds and I'm using offset for that. Uh, hit O for offset and look at that. See how it lights up in darker blue. It means that that shape that we made because we got rid of all the internal geometry is a single shape so we can offset it. So if I click it and in fact, I can go over and I can hit two, hit enter. So now we've offset that. So let's do the same on the other side, click, hit two and enter. The only thing we have to do now is clean up the geometry that is within the border. So if we, we zoom in, zoom, zoom, zoom in, hit T for trim, get out your bulldozer and just start going along the path. If you mess up, you can hit command Z or control Z. It'll bring it back. And instead of bulldozing, you can just click these individual segments too. Look at that, we've got our shape. Now it's time to extrude things. So I'm gonna finish this sketch. So the clouds, we know those are gonna be what? Six millimeters tall, so click one, hit E for extrude. I'm gonna click the other one as well, and I'm gonna type in six, and I'm gonna hit enter. There is our fluffy clouds. Take a look at those. Those are fluffy. I mean, not really, but you know. Turn the sketch back on so you can see it. Okay, okay. So now let's start extruding the, the colors here. So this will be red. So let's extrude and hit five, enter. There's our first one. If I click that and hit E for extrude, I'm gonna type five. It's going to default to join over here. That's not what we want. We want it to be a new body. If it joins, it becomes a part of the same geometry and you can't choose different colors on it. So make sure it's a new body and hit okay. In fact, do the same for all the rest. E for extrude five millimeters, change join to new body, and then click okay. Eventually. I'm gonna click here, hit E for extrude, and then I'm gonna click here, because I want both of these, and I'm gonna do five, because this is the border around the colors, and this is going to be a new body. So we've started to make our, um, our border around the, the colors. Now what we need to do is make the border around the clouds. So click here, E for extrude, and click here as well. These are going to be six. And instead of join, we're going to do a new body 
and hit OK. Now the last part. This isn't really necessary, but it just makes things a little bit easier. I'm going to open up my bodies there. Look at them. They're all listed. So go to Modify and Combine. You're going to click this border. You're going to click this border, this border, and that border. I think you know where we're going with this. Operation is join. I know that. Hit OK. And now look at that. All of the borders become a single body that you get to action with. And it just makes things a lot easier. So let's go here. I'm going to double click and call this cloud left. I'm going to go over here, double click oops, and call that cloud right. This I bet you can get. It's going to be red. I'm just going to go down the list here. Orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, finally, black border, just like that. So we have the pieces. How do we then export this for multi-material printing? Well, in Fusion, the easiest way to do that is to right click on each of these bodies and save them out. So to do that, just right click on the first one and hit save as STL. And then these are the settings that are good. Hit OK. And look at that. I'm going to put it right here in my models directory. Cloud left. So by renaming the bodies, it automatically names the STLs to what they are. So all you need to do now is go through all of these, right click, save as STL, and you're now done. You've actually created a multi-material or multi-color model that works in multi-material or multi-color 3D printing systems. It's actually, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, for slicing, let's actually go back to the studio. See, I told you, super duper simple. Anybody can do this. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. I think, I think that's the mantra we should all live by. And honestly, from there, uh, slicing is a little bit interesting because you have to bring it into right now canvas and they're still working on the, the process, right? It's still something that isn't easy to do. It's still in the development stages. It's still being, you know, bug fixed and, and they're, they're adding features. So Derek over at Mosaic sent me a video of how he sliced this for the Palette 3 Pro. I sent him all the STLs in a zip file and then he dragged that zip file in and it showed all of the models within Canvas in the right spot. From there, what Derek did was configure his palette <laughs> colors to be able to use the red, the orange, the yellow, blah, blah, etc. And once he had all those colors set up, all he had to do was drag a color onto the model and then that was it. The model became that color. From there, it was sliced, and then Magic Pixies did a dance, and once their dance was done, the slice was done, and you could actually take a look through the layers and see the tool paths. I hope that tutorial was fun, I hope it was interesting, and I hope it not only showed you how to make this, but I hope it also inspired you to take some things and maybe make something else. If you have a better way of doing this, or you could do this in a different CAD package, I would love to see it. In fact, I challenge you, get this done in a different way, and or in a different CAD package. Upload that video to YouTube and tag me socially because I want to see it. That's my challenge to you. Well, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Practice kindness aggressively. And as always, high five.